Now I can look at uh, the problems of racial discrimination and, and the injustices caused to people because of that kind of discrimination. And then uh, we go on to women discrimination because of gender. And then uh, we come to age bias, <laughs> discrimination because of age. Uh, we got to eliminate all of these sources of, uh, of, of uh, injustice in order to uh, uh, realize the human potential. Do we have the leadership today that is necessary to get people beyond those biases? I think in, uh, we do have some leaders uh, that, uh, that uh, they uh, are not the sort of commanding figures like Dr. King, um, uh, who, who took that to be his calling along the way. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi took that to be his calling along the way, and uh, so many other leaders. But we have uh, leaders on different levels who are working toward the same end goal. I think what is important for them is they, they don't give up. Now in neighborhoods, uh, hope, that word hope is a powerful uh, motivator sustainer for people who are trying to overcome the odds. Don't give up, don't give up. Dr. King realized that he couldn't do that job by himself. He needed the help of these neighborhood people and the uh, congressmen and, and many other people to help get the job done. Uh, he he uh, uh, sounded the bell and pulled us forward, got our attention, but uh, he couldn't do the whole job here, so it's, the burden is on the rest of us now.